How you doing? Come on in. Welcome back. Thanks. You look good. How you feeling? All right. Have a little traffic coming in from the airport. I just got in. You want a drink? No, no thanks. Hit me. What's the news? Well, I'm encouraged. You are? Yeah. Holly didn't sound too friendly on the phone. Well, she's agreed to see you. And that's the main thing. Yeah, with a lawyer present. I didn't think she'd stay this mad this long. She's really out to get me. Well, I wouldn't take anything she says too seriously. She's very emotional. And uh, she's subject to change. I've been busy while you've been gone. Talked to a lot of people. Matter of fact, uh, had a very encouraging talk with your ex-wife. What did Peggy have to say about all this? Well, she's not too happy about the whole mess. Matter of fact, she's left town. She's left town? Yeah, all the publicity. She doesn't want her son in Springfield uh, during the trial. She said he's very upset about all the accusations against you. So they're gonna, they're gonna stay in Boise until uh, it's all over. Yeah. Billy would be upset by all this. He's a nice kid. A good boy. Damn it. Anyway, I, I got some good stuff from her. Now, she's gonna give us a deposition, uh, saying that, uh, testing to your character while well, you two were married, saying that you were never violent to her or to Billy, that you were a good father to him, stuff like that. Now, that'll give you a lot of credibility with the jury. People figure if a man's been good to one wife, it doesn't make sense that he'd act completely different in a second marriage. Now, uh, Holly's accusations actually sound crazy. Well, wouldn't it be better if she testified? Yes, but uh, I don't think we can persuade her to come back to Springfield for the trial. Now, she wants to stay in Boise with the kids. But you could subpoena her. Would help our case, right? Now, we may be better off with a voluntary deposition. Now, that way we can control what she says, and it'll back you 100%. Now, if we force her to come back for the trial, she might not be so cooperative, and she'll be subject to cross-examination. And by the way, I, I talked to Peter Chapman. Let me tell you, we can forget about him. He believes Holly, of course. Oh, yeah. I uh, talked to your father several times, too. At least he's for me. Yeah, but uh, he won't make a statement to the press about it. He was, doesn't want to get uh, tough with your wife. I tried to explain to him that we've got to do everything we can. He's got more sympathy for her than she deserves. Roger. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't tell you that there's no question. That the best thing for you is, is to get your wife to drop these charges. So you think if we go to trial, I'll be convicted? Well, let's say uh, I'm not sure at this point that we can win an acquittal. Not fair. Roger, these cases rarely are. You really think that we can get Holly to drop this charge? I'll tell you, when I talk to her on the phone... She... Look, she's very nervous right now, and I don't think she can take the pressure of a trial. I've been doing everything I can think of to keep the pressure on. Now, at this point, she just might avail herself to a good excuse to back out. Such as? Well, look, she's got to have some feelings for you, no matter what happens. But the big stumbling block is that she's still very angry. Now, you've got to work on that, Roger. Now, you've got to see her and let her blow off some steam. Let her say anything she wants. Let her get, uh, let her get even with you, verbally. And then you try and soften her up. I sent some flowers over there. Roses. I uh, thought you might not be back in time, and I wanted her to get them before tomorrow. I signed your name, of course. Good. Maybe it'll help pave the way. You think of everything, Ron. I wish you could think of a way to keep Mike Bauer from being there tomorrow. I'd do a whole lot better if we were alone. Thank you.